Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Simon Sack, and uh, this section is from 12 to 1. And uh, this section is about Wiki Love stuff. The first one is Wiki Take Your City and other full graphic hunts. And the second one is the Wiki Love Public Arts. And the third one is Wiki Love Monuments Panels. Uh, let's us welcome the first uh, speakers. Good morning. My name is Benoit Rochon. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm very pleased to be invited to speak about one of my, um, I'd say, uh, passion, photography, yes, but also Wikimedia Commons. Uh, I don't know how many of you are ever organized one of uh, those scavenger hunt, obviously, Lodovic. Yeah? And how many of you want to organize one, maybe, in a city? Okay. So basically, the angle of this presentation will uh, be how to manage, how to organize one of, uh, of these events. So I chose, there's many you probably know, but I chose only a couple of them. So let's start, and I sort them in a way that it's basically sorted from the easiest one to organize to the more complicated one. So first, photo walks. Uh, there, are you in the house? because he's the man for photo walks. So basically what it is, it's very simple to organize because there's, for, first, there's no cost, there's no lists, it's just walking. When it's too popular, these, you might want to split the groups because as you can see here on the first picture, they are all walking, so they always take the same building or the same place. So you might want to split. In this picture, they are taking many kind of things. So there's no list, there's no target specifying, so, but you might want to uh, target uh, as, as close as possible what you need, what you want. If there's an article in your language and there's no photography, you might want to focus on that, uh, uh, on that specific subject. Now, Wiki Expeditions, in there, uh, how you say, uh, Pologne? I, Poland, thank you. Is there any Poland people here? So they are the ones who uh, basically organize uh, Wiki uh, expeditions. Uh, it's every, week, every year, uh, Wiki Media Polska uh, target a, a province or a region, and it's only for Wikipedians and people who like to travel, and the travel costs are covered. So there is a cost for that one. It's kind of like um, photo walks, but uh, there are specific things here taking pictures of flower, and that, I think that is pretty cool. They were at the uh, Grand Canyon taking pictures, which was covered by, uh, by the founded by uh, Wikimedia Polska. Now, Wikiscanner, I love that one. Also, Poland, uh, they actually bought a scanner and invite people to bring their old pictures, like travel pictures. So you, you will might find uh, some uh, like monuments or things like that that doesn't exist anymore. This is not the case because Leaning Tower is still leaning. It's not gone yet. But 1920 here, 1920 this picture. So this is a treasure for Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, so basically what they did is they bought a scanner that can manage negatives, uh, old pictures, and also uh, there's another thing I forgot, sorry but it's specialized to scan uh, these, uh, these pictures. And they meet, they meet in a room and they are able to do that. Lab Snap, this is pretty cool. Also, <laughs> Polska, they are very uh, strong on, that, on pictures. So they went to the uh, Max Planck Institute of uh, molecular, molecular Cell Biology and they took pictures. Those pictures are very rare and because it's hard to go in these, uh, in these institutions. And they are very well organized because as you can see, the table, shadow table, and there are, there are many ways to organize these. You don't need to like, get a, an agreement with the institution. I gave an example in Montreal, in my country. I, I, I organized a editathon in French. We call it uh, Mois de la Contribution, Contribution Month. And we uh, basically uh, did a, a contribution day with physics students, inter-universities, so all universities were connected. And since people were typing new texts, I took my camera and I went to the lab. So you don't need to go in, in an institution, official institution, but you can also do that in schools, university, because there are those uh, tools like that. 
uh, it's this. <laughs> I have no clue what it is. <laughs> I took the highest resolution. I had to zoom, but I don't know. Do you know? No? So I think this is, uh, this is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> so that was uh, LabSnap. Now, Britain Love Monument, I chose dates for this one. I don't think it's ex it exists anymore, right? So there are about 20 institutions. And why I chose this one? Because that's, it, was, it was the beginning of the uh, wiki love everything, you know? So what they did is they uh, did an agreement with 20 institutions in the UK, around the UK. And during a month, they can... Um, they can go in museum and take pictures of free licensed thing. This is pretty cool. This is Chopin's face, uh, ma a death mask, we call, and his hand. And that one is pretty freaky. It's a uh, operation theater. So doctors go there. And, and I didn't know that was existing. See, so there's, there's, a, there's a good thing with that. So that brings me to Wikilove's monuments, which I won't go through because there will be a panel right after me with Lodovic and Monica. I will go very uh, quickly. So it's the largest photo competition, and I was very pleased to see that Hong Kong and China get in the bath with the rest of the world. So <laughs> very glad. Congrats. And this is the largest photo competition back in 2011, recognized by uh, the wor uh, World Guinness uh, Book. It was Netherlands who got this. In 2012, it's not official yet. Can I say it? But we, no? Well, numbers are true. So we have more picture than 2011. There were, there were 33 countries who participated in this. And this year, 42 as of right now, right? 42 or 43. So we never know. And uh, this is organized with an international team. So it's pretty easy to organize in, in a certain way because you get the list from the government and starting from there, uh, international team help you to organize, uh, organize the upload and the, there are already tools uh, on Commons to help you uh, with these. And this is pretty cool. This is uh, in Gouda, Netherlands, and they did a photo exhibition. And I don't, I don't know if you saw here in Hong Kong, uh, when you enter the auditorium, there are an exhibition of the 10 winners of uh, last year, the contest. So they are basically, even around the, uh, the, the project of Wikilove's Monument, they do other kind of project, which is pretty cool. Now, Wikilove's Public Art, same thing. I won't go through this very uh, deep because I think John Anderson will do a, John? We'll, do, uh, we'll talk about it. This is pretty new. I don't know too much about it. It was the first time this year, right? So uh, it, it's based on the same model than uh, Wiki Loves Monuments. Um, there uh, are five countries as of right now, but this is pretty hard to organize in some ways because in some countries there is no freedom of panorama, so you have to make sure you have this. Otherwise, this won't be a little bit more complicated to organize since public art is pretty new in cities, so it's hard to find sometimes, in case in, in Canada, for sure, that uh, people are dead since 70 years and free license and public domain. So I won't go through this too much because uh, John will do a presentation afterward, after, right after me. So these are, were the three winners of this year. Now, Wikilove's Art, also brand new, organized by Ukraine. Is Ukraine here? No? That is pretty neat, at least for my country, because Canada is wide. We have a lot of national park, parks, and uh, it's like Wikilove's monuments. Easy to organize, no list to organize, and uh, it's uh, draw the public attention about nature's protection and also ecotourism. So I'm the kind of guy who like tent, tenting, hitchhiking, saying, taking pictures of these. Uh, you, be, you basically need lists, I guess and uh, from the government, and, uh, and it's kind of easy to organize, I guess. I, I want to make sure that Canada uh, jump in next year. Love that one. And now, Wikipedia takes, um, takes your city. That one is, I think, one of the hardest contests to organize because you need first to work on what you want, target some articles that don't have any pictures. You want also to get people get together in a room, so you need to find a room, maybe rent it, get Wi-Fi, maybe a DJ, some food, alcohol, I don't know. There are many kind of models for this. Uh, so it's kind of 
hard to, uh, on, uh, to, to build. So in my case, in Montreal, we built a 400 article that needed some photography here. Um, Richard in, uh, in New York, what he did, he, he was actually the first one, what's his uh, username? Pharaohs. Pharaohs, exactly. So he basically took uh, some targets, gave a number, so people had to take a picture of the number to represent what is going uh, next. The next picture will be for this. Make sure they are still existing because one of my targets uh, was demolished. So I, ha <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, to give the points anyway. But that can bring some fights because some people didn't took the picture because it was demolished, but I was according the point because you know, afterwards you need to make a decision. So basically what I did for uh, this, uh, this event is, uh, the, I think the maximum in New York City was 30 person. In Montreal we had over 300 inscriptions. So it was a very, very, very popular event. It was the first one for Wikimedia Canada. So I was totally overwhelmed and um, I asked a journalist from Montreal Gazette, which is one of the oldest newspaper in Montreal, I asked a journalist to just follow some participants and he accepted to put a, um, a movie, a slideshow under free license. It's all about, it's all about basically to illustrate Wikipedia, put pictures, uh, put pictures on, on the articles of Montreal which are not uh, properly is illustrated or not illustrated at all. Uh, it's basically uh, many um, uh, events around the world. We're, we are the 33rd. Uh, honestly, we're the biggest. Uh, e even with the hurricane, we're still the biggest. There was 110 person who participate. We just have fun. Something like something to do. Something Make out. everyone jealous. Uh, something out of the ordinary. That's about it. Alors, prendre des photos. On the east of Montreal, there's a lot of uh, high, high value pictures to take. So, uh, since we have a car, we're not going by walk. We can go to these uh, places really fast and take a lot of those high value pictures. Because there's not a lot of people who are working on Wikipedia, on the French Wikipedia in Quebec. So, when we are doing this kind of activity, it helps to uh, know better Wikipedia for the people. And Écoute, ce qu'on ne ferait pas pour avoir un point. Ouais, non, ça va être... Euh, D'ailleurs, il euh, y, y, y a six photos juste de ça. For myself, I have a picture of, a Chateau Front, of the Château Frontenac in Quebec, which is the, the main picture on the article of the Château Frontenac. So I guess that's pretty cool. For me, I'm just an amateur uh, photographer, so I, I don't really care about the money or the... the I, I just like to see that the people choose my pictures to represent something. The province of Quebec and Canada in general is a really beautiful place. And when you uh, go out to, uh, to take some pictures, uh, you have to, uh, to walk around and watch really carefully. And it, 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 it makes you watch. C'est le premier, c'est le premier au Canada qu'on organise. C'est pas le dernier. Il va en avoir à Toronto, il va en avoir à Ottawa, il va en avoir à Québec. He's gonna be on one computer. He's gonna be on one computer. I am, Alan, everyone, and we're gonna have tomorrow and and after tomorrow we will put that on Wikipedia later. There's an hurricane. <laughs> I didn't really cry, but I was uh, right on the edge of because um, what are the chances that an, an hurricane hits Montreal specifically on that day? It stays 24 hours in Montreal. It's happened once every century. Yesterday it was sunny. Tomorrow it's sunny. But today, <laughs> people are very courageous. It's, it's just amazing. <laughs> So as you can see in Hurricane Hit Montreal, 45 minutes after we start the event, so it was just crazy, but thank God, because I wouldn't be able to manage 300 people, 300 people, but 100 people showed up. You saw on there my mom, dad, brother, friends, because I was totally overwhelmed, so feel free to call your friends, people, if the, even if they're not uh, Wikipedians, Wikimedians, they are able to give you a hand, manage things, and, 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 uh, and help you. And there are many cities who already organize this, so if you want to organize one, 
see those people, see those uh, chapters. And there are different models also. So that's it. So what do you need for a, uh, organizing such event? First, motivation. If you don't have motivation, no one will do this for you, obviously. You need people to help. Don't do like me. Don't do that alone. You will need Prozac. You will need a clear view of what you need, the targets you need. You need to f really focus. There are many models, but you need to make sure that you, uh, you, what you need, the goals, and you basically want also, that, the reason why it was so popular in Montreal, it's not because Montreal is big, we are only two million people. It's because I did a really good, great, <laughs> huge work of talking about it, calling newspaper. I think I made, I pissed them off a little because I was spamming and spamming and spamming and it, it worked, it worked. Uh, and contact your local, your local chapter, don't be shy. Uh, friends, uh, Wikimedia friends, finance, uh, Wikipedia uh, takes Montreal and maybe the foundation also can give you for some, for, some for funds for this. So if you need help to organize this, if you need some uh, advice, feel free to send me an email, I will be pleased to give you a hand with your uh, event. Thank you. Uh, next one is uh, our next section for this section is Wiki Love Proper Art. The next thing. <laughs> 